Well, thanks, Ben. I'm really glad you're listening in because we have some significant news to share with you. And that is that Pearl Paulson, uh, who's been a member of our staff team working as a church administrator and managing our community centre, the Westbury Centre, has let us know that she's going to be moving on from that role. For quite a number of years, Pearl has worked uh, as a day a week as a volunteer for an organisation called Teams for You, who seek to work through communities, particularly to help children in various different ways. And Pearl is going to be taking on a four day a week role with them as their finance and grants manager. And so we're excited for Pearl and pleased for her in this exciting new opportunity and stage in her service of the Lord Jesus. And yet at the same time, we recognise, well, that's going to leave a huge hole for us as a church at this time. There is good news that she will be staying around the area and still part of the church and we're pleased about that and yet we do recognise the difference that this is going to bring. Pearl has served on the staff team for nearly 20 years and when she officially finishes we will be seeking to mark that and uh, Kim Hubbard will be, who's worked alongside Pearl for the whole of that time, will maybe be able to go into a bit more detail but just at this point we do want to express our great appreciation and thanks to Pearl for how she served and just on many occasions gone above and beyond maybe what even her role said that she would do at this point. So we're really thankful for that. Even, even before I arrived, Pearl had, as we took on the Westbury Centre, was an integral part of that and has taken on the management of that centre as part of her role. And we're really grateful for that and all that she's done through that. You know, even if we just think back 18 months, we had the move from the church centre over to Jubilee House. And the rest of us really didn't feel the pain of that because Pearl really did run with that and take the brunt of it, for which we are so grateful for her doing that. Um, she's done a lot. We've Even in lockdown, we've got up to speed and we're, we're running things like Church Suite. That's going to be a great asset to us <coughs> as a church. And Pearl has really run with that and has provided a wonderful platform for us to go on and use that more and more. And we're really grateful for that. And I have to say, as we moved into a COVID world, I think without Pearl, well, many of us would have had a lot more sleepless nights um, about it, more sleepless nights, because Pearl really has just taken on, got on, suddenly the number of risk assessments that had to be written or written from scratch, Pearl has just taken on and done that, taken on a booking system that we've had to um, take on board for the whole, when we've regathered on a Sunday morning. We're really grateful for that. As some things have stopped, Pearl has stepped up in other areas and you may well have noticed as we've gone live in the last week or so, we have a new website and it is Pearl who's done the lion's share of that and done just a really great job in getting our website up to date. And so we're really grateful for all that, that Pearl has done through this time. And there are just a few things just to mention our appreciation that, that some of us know but many of us might not have seen because that's happened behind the scenes. And so we express our great appreciation and thanks for all that Pearl has done. And it does highlight, well, there's going to be a big hole to fill, isn't there? And so we do want to mention at this point, we will be looking for somebody else to come on and join the staff team, picking up what we identify as the, the key essentials. This, these aren't the only things that Pearl has done, but the key things of helping with church administration and management of the Westbury Centre. Uh, we envisage that those the key essentials to start with are a 16 hour a week role. So it could be suitable as a part time. Pearl did many other things on top of that. And therefore, the role could be developed beyond that. And we'd want to tailor that to an individual who might be interested. We think this role would be best served by someone who is already part of the church. And so as I'm speaking now, I'd love you to be thinking of if that's you or whether there's someone else you can think of to encourage to think about this. And so it, if you think just even notionally that could be a possibility for you, we'd love you to get in touch. Either get in touch with myself or with Kim just to say, I'd love to have a chat about this. We, we've, draft, we've got a draft job spec around this that we can show you and talk you through. Hopefully it'll move fairly quickly beyond the draft stage, but we're, we'll be moving fairly quickly in response to this. And we'd just love to hear from you. Even if you don't think you could start fairly soon, We'd love to try and get a plan in place fairly soon that is working towards something. And so we'd like to put in place a deadline of getting in touch with us by the 9th of March so that we know what expressions of interest there are from within the church so that we can formulate a plan from there. 
We very much appreciate your prayers for us through this time. So do be praying for us and do be praying for Pearl. And I'm just going to do both of those things now. So let's just pray together. Father in heaven, we want to thank you so much for how you blessed us as a church. And we thank you for Pearl, for how much she has served the church over the years and all that you have done through her. We pray for her and we pray for Andy at this new stage for them. We pray that you continue to use her and that she would know your enabling and blessing and joy in service and that you'd use her for good in the new role that you have prepared for her. And we pray for ourselves now, Lord, as a church. We pray for your provision. We pray for the provision of a person who might be able to come and serve, bringing gifts and desire in the areas of administration and management of the Westbury Centre. We pray for your help now through this transition period for us all. And we pray in all of this, Lord, that you will be working for your glory and the good news of Jesus going out. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Great. Let me hand back to Ben. Thank you, Ben.